So now we're going to be creating a page where you can actually actually add the new category. So uh, inside of the categories folder, if we click on add, we will keep the form instance and valid instance. Um, now we will assign the expected will only be one field, which will be name. And the same will apply to our required as it's the only field which we'll be using here. We can put them a little bit higher. Now, uh, we don't uh, need all these categories here. So obviously we can remove these categories. We will, however, need the catalog object. So we keep it. But I think we can uh, we can move it to after if it's post rather than keeping here. Okay, so if it's post, this is when we're going to be doing all this. Without this, we obviously don't need this object. So that's fine. Let's start with the... Uh, uh, let's start with the new method actually so we're going to check if and the name of the object object catalog duplicate category we're going to check if this the category with this name is already uh, created so object form get post name and actually what we could do we could get this one and assign it to the variable it's going to be easier than name equals object form get post name so we are comparing this name if it's true which means if the category already exists then we object valid add to errors and we're going to add name duplicate and obviously if we open our classes folder in our validation class we need to add this index to the we have name already here please provide a name so we can use this one but obviously we need this index for name duplicate we can put uh, this name is already taken okay and obviously no come after the last one so we can save uh, and close our validation class after this uh, actually let's move this expected and required right at the top after the if is uh, post condition okay um, after this we check in if obviously uh, everything is valid then we can uh, add category rather than add product is going to be add category and we will post we'll simply send this parameter here which is the name basically of the category itself now we can remove all this upload statements so let's remove all this redirect we want them to be redirected obviously admin everything stays exactly the same as get current URL we already recognize whether it's categories products or any other section so this uh, may stay the way it is and it will be added failed as well so that's fine now if it's been added we only going to copy this one as well paste it here if it's been added successfully I'm going to close this browser uh, then obviously we want to redirect them to add it now in the next video we're going to amend our form here as well